What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Impromptu, really quick Tesla battery scheme. There's just something I've been thinking about that finally just clicked in my head about what Tesla is working on and will potentially announce at Battery and Powertrain Investor Day. Wanted to share with you um, the big thing that finally clicked for me after you know listening to Elon on the Third Row podcast um, about seeing this recent news with Tesla potentially working with CATL on a new type of battery. Um, the biggest thing that keeps coming out to me, and I really like, I was like, how did I not think of this before? Is one major breakthrough that I think Tesla's on the cusp of announcing for their future battery packs is basically cell to pack technology, the removal of modules, a massive sort of like, well, I guess it is an overhaul of the design of the battery that is way simpler. So essentially Tesla, um, this is something I learned from the third row podcast where Elon went more into depth about it, was describing how with the Roadster, they had all these modules in the battery pack. You could switch them out. Um, they had like 16 modules or something. Well, now in the model three pack, they still have four different modules of batteries, basically like micro batteries within the battery, but they're not swappable. It's just like an old sort of, you know, hangover from the Roadster days where Tesla still has these modules in the battery pack. Elon Musk even uh, mulls over combining the modules and the cell teams to basically make one pack. And if you think about the way it works up until now, Panasonic has been building the cells. Typically, whenever any company builds the cells, um, they supply them to these car companies. Then the car companies put those cells into the pack. Well, now I think Tesla going with the inline of vertical integration, you know, taking things in house is literally designing the battery pack all in one with the cells they build themselves. And the huge unlock and breakthrough here is they don't need the modules. And if you think about the modules, it's literally just an extra enclosure, extra space in the battery. That means the battery has to take up more space. They can't put cells there, makes it more complex to build, adding time, adding cost. And so when you think about this, it's just such a simple unlock, but I wanted to make this video because I think it's like, this is part of what Tesla's announcing is a new way to design batteries without modules, and that will make the, the pack more efficient, more energy dense, cheaper to build without any new battery technology at all. Um, I, I think they are working on new battery cell technology themselves, but I think just the simple removal of the modules is um, going to be what something they announce. And is a, I, I, I don't know, I just had never like thought about it that way before, but and it's probably way more complicated to actually do in practice than I'm making it sound. But anyway, there was an article that came out in October 17, 2019, um, about Tesla's patenting an approach to sell to pack production. So that, that was pretty interesting. Pulled up the patent. It's by a guy called Kevin Cornelius Matthews, based in Reno, assigned to Tesla. Essentially, this new way to design a battery pack without modules and just have the cells. Um, if we go to his LinkedIn page, he was a staff, or originally a mechanical uh, design engineer for Tesla, starting to work at Sparks, Nevada, in 20, uh, where the Gigafactory is in 2015. One thing he says here, strong experience optimizing high value facility systems and manufacturing system, especially for lithium ion batteries, proven at conceptualizing and implementing high impact innovative solutions. Then he got promoted to cell engineering, cell manufacturing, now doing cell engineering at Tesla. He has this patent with direct to cell technology. Additionally, tying in that whole, you know, CATL rumor that Tesla's working with CATL in China or on some sort of new battery pack, CATL in late 2019 uh, said they had basically come up with this uh, cell to pack technology. They, uh, I'll read you part of the press release. CTP, cell to pack, the company's latest product platform skips the process of battery modules and allows cells to be directly integrated into packs using the CTP technology, which includes more than 70 core patents. CATL can increase mass energy density by 10 to 15% improve volume utilization efficiency by 15 to 20% and reduce the amount of parts for battery packs by 40%. A CTP battery can increase the system energy density from 180 watt hours per kilogram to more than 200 watt hours per kilogram at the cell level. The energy density is also has already reached 240 watt hours per kilogram in 2019. And by 2024, CATL aims to increase energy density to 350 watt hours per kilogram. So CATL came up with this breakthrough pretty material um, sort of improvements in terms of cost and efficiency of the battery just with this cell to pack breakthrough. And then tying it all together, like I said, on the third row podcast that we put out just a week or two ago, Elon Musk, and this is a clean technical article about what he said on that podcast, um, basically says like, yes, the Model 3 still have modules. They're totally useless. We don't need them. When we think about designing our next battery pack, we should just have cells in the pack. If that doesn't make it any clearer, I don't know what does, but for me, it finally just clicked. So I want to make this episode and of course, open up the discussion and brainstorm to all of you have been so helpful. You know, what do you think about this? I haven't heard too many people talk about the cell to pack aspect of Tesla's R&D and batteries and what that could do for the pack. Everyone's been focused on what type of battery is it? What kind of chemistry are they using? Is it going to have Maxwell's DBE technology? Well, it seems like that's all these crazy complicated science projects when one of the biggest material breakthroughs in all of this is literally just taking out the modules and putting in the cells directly. So um, that is what it is. Opening up to you guys to scheme. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, producers, fun in the channel. I'll see y'all next time.